Commerce Alive Today presents... Filings. The precursor of the main company was a store opened in 1881 by William Filene. William Filene was a German Jewish immigrant from Posen, Prussia, who immigrated to Boston in 1848. Although William Filene is credited with creating Filene's, it was his sons, Edward Filene and Abraham Lincoln Filene, who expanded the business greatly. Edward and Lincoln were two of the best known businessmen in America and were responsible for converting their father's clothing store into one of the largest department stores in the country. The two sons assumed management of the store in 1891 and inherited the store upon their father's death in 1901, by that the company was known as William Filene's Sons and Company. In 1908 Edward Filene opened the automatic bargain annex or Filene's basement as a way to sell excess merchandise from the upstairs department store. He also developed an automatic markdown schedule to reduce the price of merchandise, used thereafter for decades. Edward's influence gave Filene's an early reputation as a customer-oriented store with slogans like money back if not satisfied. A new main store, Filene's Department Store, was completed in 1912 in Boston on the corner of Washington and Summer Streets by Chicago architect Daniel Burnham as his last major project. By 1929 Filene's expanded the main building, converting the block around Washington, Summer, Pauley, and Franklin Streets into one department store. Filene's is also a founding member of the International Association of Department Stores in 1928, which is still active as of today. Also during 1929, Filene's joined Abraham and Strauss and Lazarus as the founding members of Federated Department Stores. From the 1930s through 1990s Filene's continued expanding beyond New England with the country growing and adapting to new shopping malls. Filene's main rival company during this period was Jordan Marsh, whose main store, like Filene's, was located in Downtown Crossing in Boston and was also making the transition, expanding into shopping malls. In 1947, the Filene's basement trade name was first applied to an annual bridal gown sale. Lines extending around the store made it famous. In 1988, after the leveraged buyout of Federated Department Stores by Campo Corporation of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the division was sold to May Department Stores Company, along with Foley's of Houston. It was then that the Filene's and Filene's basement trade names were disassociated. In 1992, Filene's absorbed G. Fox & Company of Hartford, Connecticut, and Steigers in 1994, two other divisions of May Department Stores Company. During the 1990s there was a doubling of the Filene's organization as May invested in new stores and variegated Filene's price and product assortments. In 2002 Filene's assumed operational control of the Kaufman's stores in Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Western New York State. Speculated since the early 2000s, Federated announced its planned acquisition of May in February 2005. The likelihood that the May nameplates would be replaced by the Federated-owned Macy's was acknowledged, citing the considerable success in rebranding Federated's regional stores as Macy's and that operating regional stores primarily under one brand means they can advertise nationally. Unlike regional retailers, which is more cost-effective, the changes were unlikely to occur before 2006. Indeed, the company-wide conversion to Macy's was confirmed in July, and the merger was completed in August. Federated continued to divest duplicate properties in shopping malls where Filene's and Macy's were both present prior to consolidation. Filene's operated 47 locations across Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, Rhode Island, and Vermont. In regards to downtown crossing, however, the company remained uncertain whether the Filene's department store or the neighboring former Jordan Marsh flagship store would be retained. Then Boston Mayor Thomas Menino expressed his preference for marrying Macy's to the Filene's building. Ultimately, the existing Macy's location was left intact and the Filene's store was closed in 2006. 
The last remaining filing stores closed on September 9, 2006, with the conversion of the May own nameplates. Macy's had become a national retailer with over 800 stores. Upon receiving approval from shareholders that federated itself, he renamed Macy's. In 2007, then CEO Terry Lundgren admitted that business was struggling from having thrown a lot of change on the May Company stores very quickly. When Filene's closed, the Boston Landmarks Commission voted unanimously to protect the two oldest buildings that housed Filene's, the May 1912 store and a 1905 former glassware and china sellers building on the opposite corner. Two newer buildings, built in 1951 and 1973, were demolished in 2008. Surprisingly, though many Bostonians felt a sense of loss, the public did not protest the closing, unlike that of Marshall Fields in Chicago and Kaufman's in Pittsburgh. Boston had already lost many local companies to larger companies in the region, especially New York City, including the New York Times' acquisition of the Boston Globe and the subsumption of the Bank of Boston and Fleet Bank into Bank of America. The Boston Landmarks Commission only protected the facade of each building, allowing developers to rip out the building's interior, including the original paneling installed in 1912. When the project ran out of money, the buildings were left completely gutted. In mid-2014, advertising and public relations company have its opened offices for several of its divisions in the former Filene's department store. Earlier that year, Irish fast fashion retailer Primark announced that they would open their first location in the United States in the since-renamed Burnham Building. The four-level, 77,000-square-feet flagship store opened in September 2015. A mural inspired by the Filene's origin of the building was installed on the second floor. Now I can take some personal time at Filene's and save while I spend on my wardrobe. It's the men's only wardrobe sale, now through Thursday, March 14th only. I can get a suit, a sport coat, a blazer, slacks, even a raincoat. And the more I buy, the more I save. I spend 200, I lop off 20%, 300, 25%, 400 and more, 30%. And there's an extra savings bonus too. Two 20% off coupons, one for men's shoes, one for men's dress shirts. So I'm taking some personal time at Filene's and saving a bundle in the men's only wardrobe sale this week only. If you have any fun memories please indicate it at the comments below thanks for watching subscribe and like